So I was in Costco the other day, I saw one of these things on one of those tables that they put at the end of an aisle when they're trying to get rid of some stuff. It's the Boogie Board Jot 8.5. It was offered at a bit of a discount. Thought I'd pick one up and show it to you. It's a paperless memo pad. I'll show you how it works. First thing to look at, the box has got one of these easy opening tear off things, a bit like you get on an Amazon parcel. So that's a good start. Inside the box, we've got a neoprene sleeve. You put that on the thing to stop the screen getting scratched when you're carrying it around. You've got an instruction leaflet here. That's all you need to get going. And then of course, you've got the Boogie Board board jots itself it's a lightweight thin plastic device with a nice texture on it that's where the button cell is at the top it's got one in it of course already i don't know how long that lasts but uh, i think it lasts for quite a while you've got this plastic stylus and you just write on the screen like that you don't have to switch it on or anything it's on all the time the only time it uses power is when you press that button to clear the screen it's quite nice to write on as well so i'll just show you just write whatever kind of information you might put on a maybe a memo pad or something and then when you want to get rid of it all you have to do press that silver button at the top and it just clears the information off the screen simple as that so that's pretty much it job done but i'll show you a little bit more so if you do write on it and you want the thing not to get deleted by accident you slide this switch up here that locks the screen and when you press the button nothing happens until you slide the switch back again and then you can clear the screen now it's got this hole at the other end here on the pictures it shows you using that as a little stand i've put the stylus in the wrong way there but you get the idea it's supposed to stand up like that presumably you write something on it and then stand it up otherwise you're just left using your finger and all you can write on the screen is scribble writing on the boogie board screen is surprisingly nice it's got a matte finish on here anti-reflection as well as a bit of a texture so it really does feel like paper now you push the stylus down on it, it uses pressure sensitivity, but you only really have to rest it against it. There's no pressure required. It really does feel like the ink is flowing out of the end of your plastic stylus. Very much like writing with a Sharpie pen. Now when you finish, the stylus just goes back in the top of the screen here, and it can be accessed from the top as well, which is handy. It means you don't have to pull it out of the back, which will come in useful when we attach it to the fridge in a moment. Most people, if they've still got a landline, will have a pen and pad next to it. Well, at least they hope they do, but whenever you come to write down on that pad, it looks like someone's run off with the pen. Good thing about the boogie board, if you leave that there, your pen is your stylus. No one's going to run off with that stylus because there's not much point using it for anything else. So you've always got a pen and pad next to the phone. Now, in addition to that, you could perhaps use it in somewhere like the kitchen because most people leave notes on their fridge door shopping lists or reminders so it's a good idea to put it on there and it's magnetic on the back as well it'll just stick to the fridge door which is nice there is a bit of a problem though when it comes to the idea of using one of these to replace a shopping list while it's easy enough to write on you wouldn't really want to take one of these down to the shops with you and then we've got the issue of price in the UK, it's just under £30, and in the US, just under $35. And that's a lot of money to spend on something that effectively just replaces a pen and paper. So most people wouldn't be able to justify spending that amount on themselves. But that got me into thinking, that makes this an excellent idea for a present. Since most people won't have one of these, it's the perfect thing to buy for that difficult to buy for relative. And if you do decide that you want to get hold of one of these as a present, all for yourself, there are links to the product on Amazon in the video description. Anyway, that's it for the moment. As always, thanks for watching.